Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a baby registry video. I'm really excited to film this for you because I know how overwhelming it can be when you're either a first time mom or even as a second time mom, like figuring out what you need for your little ones. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be talking all about all of the things that I'm gonna be purchasing for baby number two. If you guys are new here, my name is Kayla and I am a stay at home mom to a toddler, Riley, who is currently not wanting to nap. I'm like watching her on the monitor here, so if you hear her screeching, that's what's happening. But baby number two is due in December, and I'll show you guys my bum. When you guys are watching this, I'll probably be 28 weeks pregnant, 27 and a half weeks right now, but that's what's going on over there. Yeah, baby number two is on the way. I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are currently pregnant yourselves, and I know that these are the kinds of videos that I used to binge watch when I was pregnant with Riley, because I had zero idea what to put on my baby registry. So not only can you watch this video, which hopefully will be helpful for you, but I'm also collabing with three other mamas. I'm collabing with my friends Brittany, Jessica, and Morgan, and all of their information is going to be down below in the description box. They're gonna be putting out their own registry videos, so make sure to check those out. Brittany I've been friends with for the longest time. I've collabed with her a million times on my channel. She has a toddler girl, and she's gonna be having another girl, so she's gonna have two girls, total girl mom. So it's been great to watch her video lately about like how she's prepping for baby number two same with Jessica Jessica is a boy mom well right now she's a boy mom she's got one boy and I don't even know if she's announced yet what the gender of baby number two is but she is a sweetheart and like her house is literally goals like if you guys like farmhouse decor go watch her videos because she does all of the decorating and then Morgan is a straight-up boy mom so she has a boy already she's having another boy so I think it'll be really great for you guys to have a couple other moms that you guys can see what they're putting on their registry every family is different so what works for me might not work for you guys and vice versa. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chat with you guys and talk about some of the things that I've just been stressing about that I know I need to purchase soon. So the first thing on the list is the big one. This is the double stroller. So I need a double stroller. I'm gonna be taking care of two tiny humans. We are gonna be moving to Virginia when the baby is like three months old and I'm gonna be all by myself. So I'm gonna need a stroller that is the easiest thing of life. Whatever's gonna be easy for me to put in the car, take out, assemble, all of that, that's what I'm I'm looking for. With Riley, we had bought the Britax travel system. That's the stroller that we have right now, the infant car seat and the stroller, and it worked perfect for her. But I don't think that there's like a way to convert that into a double stroller. I don't know that they even offer a double stroller. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. If you guys have done research and you guys know your stuff, please let me know because I need some help. But what I'm looking for, honestly, is something that I can just take a little infant car seat and put it on the stroller. Because what I want is for the infant car seat to go in the car. Like if we're driving around, we're running errands, you have the car seat base, you put the car seat, and then when you're going to put the baby in the stroller, you just take the little infant car seat out and then you put it straight into the stroller so if I can have a stroller that allows me to do that plus it has somewhere for Riley to sit that would be ideal Brittany actually has put up a video on her channel recently on the even flow stroller so go check out her channel go find that video because it'll help you to see like how one of these double strollers like what they look like and how it assembles it looks to be like what I'm looking for so I'm kind of leaning towards that stroller at the moment but you want something that's gonna be easy. And if you're looking for a double stroller yourself, you kinda have to assess like how old your current child is and like what they're gonna like because if the stroller just works for my new baby and doesn't work for Riley, like that's not gonna cut it. So that's the first thing and that's gonna be eating up like a very large part of my budget because double strollers are not cheap even though the even flow that I was just talking about, I think that was like three something. So it's not as expensive as some of the other strollers. The next thing on my list for baby number two are extra pump parts. And I know this list is gonna be like super random and like out of order, but I need extra breast pump parts. With Riley, I use the Spectra breast pump and I loved it. That is definitely the breast pump that I recommend. I had no issues with it. But because it was already like two years ago, like a year ago since I used it, um, I wanna order new pump parts. And that's something that I didn't even know that you could do, but you can, and they actually have them on Amazon. So all of these things that I'm gonna mention, if there's something specific that I mentioned, I will leave it linked down below for you guys so you guys can easily click on the link and go buy it. I'm hoping to breastfeed this baby, but even when you're breastfeeding, sometimes you have to pump you have to increase your milk supply or you just want to have a stash handy in case you have to go back to work or in case you need to leave the baby with someone with Riley I pumped a lot because at the very beginning of her life she wasn't even breastfeeding she was in the NICU for three days and they were giving her a bottle so I needed to have a breast pump I love that breast pump 
like I said. And since I just wanna make sure that it's like very sanitary, I'm just gonna go ahead and order a new set of parts. It's not super expensive, so that's something else that I'm gonna be putting on my registry. I do wanna mention because like I don't wanna make it seem like I am like making a full-blown registry. I am registering or creating a registry really just so that I can keep track of what I still need to buy and so that I can get like the coupon discount like at the end. Like, I don't know if you guys are aware, but if you guys are like first time moms and you haven't done this before, a lot of times when you register with a store at a certain point, like when the baby gets here, I don't know if it's like before the baby gets here or after the baby gets here, but they'll give you a coupon that you can use to buy anything that wasn't purchased off of your registry. So if you list 100 items on your registry and you don't get them all from your family and friends or whatever, then you can go back to the store and buy it and use a coupon. So it kind of helps you to save money that way. That's really why I'm doing a registry because I'm not gonna be like handing out my registry to family and friends. I'm not really in a position where like I need a whole bunch of stuff. So I don't want them to feel like obligated that they have to purchase something. For me, if they can give me a box of diapers or a box of wipes, that is plenty for me. But I am just creating the registry so I can keep track of the things that mostly I'm gonna buy myself. Something else I'll be buying for baby number two are some pacifiers. Riley really didn't take pacifiers. Um, so we don't have like a ton of pacifiers laying around So I'm not gonna go crazy buying like a bunch of pacifiers because I'm not even sure if he will like them But I want to have like just some fresh new ones in case he does I also want to get him some bandana bibs because bandana bibs the ones that I used with Riley were like my favorite bibs of life They're super absorbent Those I got off of Amazon and I will link them down below because like to this day Like I love those bibs like I think that they're the best for like capturing like liquid or like milk that spills on them But obviously all of Riley's are like pink and purple so I want to get him some like in some blues and stuff that'll match more of like what he wears. Another big thing that I'll be buying is a dual monitor. So let's talk about monitors for a second. Everyone is very different when it comes to their preference of baby monitor. I have the Infant Optics baby monitor with Riley. Um, it's worked perfect. I've liked it. The only thing is for some reason, this one in particular, like something's wrong with the battery and it like dies every two seconds. But other than that, it's been a good monitor. It gives me everything I need. I can see her, I can hear her, I can talk to her. I haven't had like a real issue with it, but now that we're gonna have baby number two, I need some kind of monitor that lets me see two things at once. And there are a lot of monitors that hook up to your phone. So a lot of people like the monitors that you can see on the phone because if you take your phone outside or you take your phone wherever, you can still see your babies. I do not personally like a monitor that hooks up to my phone only because I'm always working on my phone. I'm constantly on Instagram or on YouTube or using it like for work, answering emails. And if my baby is asleep and I want to see them, like I don't like that I can't see them both like at the same time. I wanna be able to be working on my phone and watching my child with my eyeballs like at the same time. So that's the only reason why I'm looking for a dual monitor um, that like has its own little thing. I think Motorola has one that has like two cameras and then like a split screen. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research and figure out which one of those is gonna work best for us. But again, you just have to think about what your preference is. Again, a lot of people actually like the ones that are on your phone. I don't, I don't really have a need for it. Like I never leave Riley or like I'm never gonna leave baby number two like at home really where I can't see the baby I'm home with my babies 24 7 So it's not like I have a nanny here and I want to watch while I'm not home or something like that So I'll be looking for a new monitor um towels is something that I need to buy with Riley Honestly, I had like one set of towels that I was gifted when she was first born really pretty florally prints And that's really all that we use that and I think we have like one more elephant hooded towel That's super cute, but we haven't like bought a whole bunch of towels like what we got is what she got when she was born. Again, that's the kind of thing that now that I'm having a boy, I wanna have like some more boy towels. In terms of bottles, I'm probably going to be buying um, the Komotomo bottles are the ones that I recommend. Riley really liked the Komotomo ones. They're very squishy and silicone-like, the actual bottle itself. So I'll probably buy, I think they come in like a pack of two. I'll buy two of those just to have handy in the pantry in case I do need to give him a bottle at some point. Again, I'm hoping to breastfeed, but if he doesn't take to breastfeeding or on the occasion that I need to give him an actual bottle, I wanna have those on hand. But we do still have like a stash of like other brands. So if he doesn't take to the Komotomo ones, we can maybe look at like a Philips one or I think we have some Dr. Brown's bottles but if you're a first-time mom I would not go crazy on buying tons of bottles because babies are very picky and you don't want to buy 
like an entire set of like 12 Dr. Brown bottles and then your baby gets here and he hates the Dr. Brown bottles because then you're screwed. Reminds me by the way, I already have a couple of videos on my channel that I'm gonna leave linked down below for you guys. I have one that's a newborn essential. So if you're a first time mom, check that video out because it goes a little bit more into detail about like the little tiny things um, that you're gonna probably need for your baby, things that I don't really need now because I have them from Riley. But go check out that video. And I have another video where I go around my house showing you like baby essentials that you'll probably need for the first year. That's where I kind of talk about some of the bigger things like the bouncers and the saucers and just things that I was still using up to Riley's first year. So go check those out. And I will also be posting, if not next week, the week following, a couple more videos in this kind of like registry series where I talk about like some of the big registry mistakes mistakes and like some of the things that we're going to be using for baby number two that we already have here on hand. So make sure if you haven't already subscribed so you don't miss those videos. Okay for baby number two something that I didn't have with Riley that I'm going to be putting on my registry is a forehead thermometer. With Riley we use just the regular like digital thermometers and I want to have a forehead thermometer ready just in case we need it because it is really hard to take the temperature of a wiggly baby or a wiggly toddler. Like if I try to get Riley's temperature right now now, it's like near impossible. So I want to do a little bit of research, make sure obviously it's a good one, but I would like to have a forehead thermometer handy. I'll also be putting on my registry another sound machine. With Riley, we have the dome sound machine and I have loved it. Like it has worked great. It's never broken in the two years of her life and we have used it every single day. Since baby number two is going to be sleeping in the room with my husband and I for like the first six months of his life, just like Riley did, I do want to have a sound machine for our room so that way it can kind of help him sleep hopefully crossing my fingers that he's a better sleeper than Riley. And then on top of that, I also want to put on my registry a portable sound machine. And that's something that I never had with Riley. So they sell portable sound machines that you can like attach to the stroller or you can attach to the car seat. So in those cases where you're on the go, you're at a store or you're just driving around running errands and your baby falls asleep in the car, you can turn on a sound machine and like you have something available to help soothe them. When Riley was really little, I remember like when we would go to the grocery store or something like that and she was getting really fussy where she'd start crying because I knew she was tired. I used to walk around like a crazy person with like an app that I found on my phone and if I can find it again, I will link it down below. But it's an app on your phone that is essentially a sound machine but then like there was like this really loud crazy noise coming from my phone and I couldn't use my phone then because I was kind of like throwing it in her car seats so that she would like settle down. But now that I know that they have some portable ones, I'm going to be looking into one of those for him. Next thing I'm going to be putting in my registry is a baby swing. And that's something that I really didn't have with Riley. And when I'm talking about a baby swing, I'm talking about like one of the swings that like go like this. And again, I will link down below like the one that I'm looking at. But with Riley, we had the mama room. And yes, it was fancy. Yes, I guess it looks cool. Um, but Riley hated the mama room. And I honestly hated the mama room. I just did not like it. Maybe it works great for some babies. And I know that the Four Moms brand has great products. Maybe some of their other stuff is better. But it was very bulky, very heavy. So it wasn't something that was like easily movable. And on top of that, like Riley just hated it. So I want to have somewhere where I can kind of put him like to kind of see if it'll settle him to see if it'll maybe rock him to sleep we'll probably put that like in the kitchen area somewhere like where if I need to like be wiping down the counters if I need to do some cleaning I can kind of lay him down there and it'll entertain him so I'm looking at a baby swing definitely would recommend one of those also a baby play mat so like some kind of like activity center again the one that I had with Riley was like very pink and purple and I know that he could use it it's fine but if we're in the position where I can buy some of these things I'm gonna buy him a new one um, so that he has like his own little play mat something that has stuff that like hangs from the top so that he can be visually stimulated all of that I think is great for them when they're gonna be doing tummy time and things like that you don't necessarily have to spend like a hundred dollars on one of those like they don't really care like it doesn't have to be super fancy but with Riley we had a couple and she used to spend hours just playing with those mats so Definitely gonna be buying one of those for him. The obvious diapers and wipes, those are things that should always go on your registry. Something I learned after I gave birth to Riley that I actually didn't know up until then, that at most stores, like if you get a box of diapers, let's say at your baby shower, you get, I don't know, 16 boxes of diapers, and they're all newborn size. And by the second week, your baby's no longer using newborn size. You can actually take those boxes of unused diapers and take them back to any retailer that sells those diapers. So if you get a bunch of Pampers diapers, 
find a place that sells Pampers diapers and you can return them and you can say, look, I have a box of newborns. I just wanna switch it out with a box of size one or size two. I've never done it myself, but I've heard it from a bunch of people. And I think that's great. With Riley, we've always used the Pampers Swaddlers and they've worked great for us. We've really never had an issue with them. We may have tried a couple other brands here and there, but nothing that stuck. We never tried Huggies, we never tried um, the really pretty printed ones, what are they called? The honest ones or like all of like the fancy ones like with the pretty prints We never tried any of those we stuck to pampers and they did their job as far as wipes go um, We started off when Riley was really little we started off with the water wipes that we would buy on Amazon I think they are a little pricier, but they were like really natural and Riley just did really well with them She never got irritated or anything like that nowadays. We just use like the pampers. I don't know Pampers, wipes, I don't even know what they're called. Something else that I wanna get for him that's so random is a new nose Frida. So with Riley, we use the nose Frida all the time. And it is one of the greatest inventions, despite the fact that it's disgusting because you're literally sucking up boogers in your mouth. So that's great. But really it's gonna help them a lot when they're stuffy, when they've got congestion. So I always recommend you buy a bottle of saline spray, some kind of like saline drops, and then the nose Frida. So I have the one for Riley. I don't wanna use the same one with baby number two. So I'm just gonna buy a fresh new one for his boogers. I will also be putting on my registry the Doc Tot. And honestly, full transparency, like I'm hoping that Doc Tot will work with me at some point so that they'll send me a Doc Tot because I know it's expensive. Um, I've already reached out to them. Maybe they'll ignore me and I'll just have to buy it myself. But the Doc Tot is something that I really, really want. Um, I want some kind of comfortable place where he can lounge. If we're like in the family room, I can put him on the docketot, like on the couch or on the counter. It's one of those things that I didn't buy with Riley and I mean, she's fine, she's alive, she did fine without it, but it's like a luxury that I would like to have with baby number two. But if that doesn't happen, um, one of the things that's kind of similar a little bit is the boppy lounger and that's something that I will probably be purchasing regardless. With Riley, I use the regular boppy pillow that was kind of like my nursing pillow, but I would also use it if she wanted to just kind of lounge around on the couch and it served its purpose I guess like it did its job but in addition to like that little pillow that they have they have an actual lounger and I just think it looks a lot more comfortable for the babies just to chill chill there in their own little space and then something that is a must for me for him for everyone in our family is going to be some new swaddle sacks with Riley we used to love the swaddle sacks for the most part a lot of you guys have heard of the term swaddle even if you're a first-time mom you know they teach you how to swaddle the baby with the blanket and all the folds and all of that that is way too difficult for me because I am a lazy human so with Riley we use swaddle sacks that are basically a sack like it looks like a burrito if your baby's feet go in the sack and then you velcro their arms and it's done like they're swaddled those are the greatest inventions of life i hardly ever swaddled riley with like a muslin blanket with all the folds because again just didn't work it was a disaster the swaddle sacks were life so i'm gonna be buying some for baby boy and hopefully those will help him feel nice and secured and cozy so that he will sleep at least for like two hours at a time. And yeah, that's really the extent of what is going on in my registry as of right now. If you guys have any other suggestions, things that you think will help me having two babies now, let me know down below. Let's help each other out. Let's add to this conversation because I know like this is the first time that I'm a second time mom and I know that I've never had two children before. So if you guys have already had two kids and you have found something helpful or if something that I mentioned, you're like, no, this didn't really work for me. Let me know down below because I would love to kind of read through those comments. Now, that being said, I know that there are probably a lot of things that I didn't mention on this particular list because these are things that I already have around the house or stored away that I used with Riley. So if you guys wanna see what those things are, stay tuned for part two kind of of this video. And that's really it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck with your registries. Good luck prepping for all of your babies. Again, I know that it can be overwhelming. I remember walking into Bye Bye Baby with Joe when we first went to register for Riley. And I was all excited because I got to use a little scanner. And then we actually started going through the aisles and I'm like, what the heck do I scan? Like there are so many things here and it's just very overwhelming. Do not freak out. There are a lot of things that you do not need and through these videos I'm gonna put out on my channel, hopefully they will help you a little bit more. But yeah, make sure to go check out my friends down below, check out their registry videos. They're doing a lot of prepping for their babies, so that's hopefully gonna help you too. But make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.